This is Final Range Dog on Skylanders Spires Adventure. I think I got this uh, the way I've ordered this thing uh, the right way round because we're going to uh, get the life seeds and uh, Stump Smash is a life Skylander when we're going around trees. Yes, let's go quickly. We Jack and the oh, sorry, Jack and the Beanstalk. So I accidentally kicked um, the uh, container that I used to keep all of my skylands in. Anyway, so you saw the um, oh sorry. Hopefully you'll finish talking now. So, in the last episode, there was a, a cutscene about, like, when our boy was born. Fine, let's get the life seeds, or I'll get them. Great wasps. Or hornets. So I don't know why I was back smashing that, I didn't really need to. <clears throat> anyway, so in the last cutscene you saw Arbor being born, he created the uh, the big beanstalk and um, I had a look at the last few upgrades that I needed to get the Hex. Turns out that I've got all of Hex's upgrades now. To be honest, I don't think the thing that you can do with our Soul Gem is that good. I'll do it. <clears throat> yes, basically what the Skulls do is, once you're, when you're casting the Reign of Skulls, I think, um, they're supposed to like attack other people whilst you're casting them, but sometimes it doesn't do it properly. Should I get the treasure? Okay. Right, so now that Hex is fully upgraded and fully leveled up, I'm going to use the last Skyland that I have so far. I only want one more left. So I'm going to use the last Skylander that I have so far. It is the one and only Wrecking Ball and Magic Skylander. At the moment level 6 and not yet upgraded. I've gone through the path of his uh, mm, force field thing. So I just had to get the uh, treasure for him so we can carry on upgrading him. I just put on the cowboy hat because I think it, or my brother thinks it looks cute on him. I was just finding like lots of different kinds of hats that suit him and uh, when I put it on him my brother liked it because he wants him to look American I don't quite know why so we've got Life Spellpunk here another kind of Spellpunk who heals nearby enemies <clears throat> sorry if I keep on uh, changing to Wrecking Ball it's just that um, I need I need to get him lots of money. Ooh, that's the legendary treasure. Sorry, I'm changing to Wrecking Ball. Once he's fully up leveled up and upgraded, then I just need to find the last um, Skylander that I want. So anyway, now I've oh, that's the Sterling Tapir. 500 gold. That's nice. So anyway, um, now that I've shown you this, uh, I've introduced Wrecking Ball to you. If you have any uh, nicknames for uh, Wrecking Ball and Hex, please tell me because uh, I'm probably going to uh, rename them at some point. So I want to give them a good name. If no one comes up with any good ideas, then I'm just going to 
use some websites. Anyway, so I believe there's a treasure chest or a storage got here. Whatever it is, I'm going to use Wrecking Ball. He's quite cute. He reminds me of Yoshi. I don't know why, but I thought when you uh, eat enemies, uh, you kind of evolve and he starts walking on two feet instead of four. Turns out you don't. I think it might be when he, um, when you charge up his burp. I'll show you once I un open this. <clears throat> so, uh, with Wrecking Ball, his, uh, charge attack, no, his Z attack, sorry, is burp. But, if you, uh, hold Z, you can charge up his burp. And you can, like, move around. It's quite difficult to move around, though. But I think that might be why uh, I thought he reminds me of Yoshi. Or another reason. Because, uh, he's much bigger. And I only saw, I think it's in the cart scene, I saw him from his behind. And it looks like he's, uh, walking on two feet instead of four. Turns out it's just his uh, cheeks are puffed out. Anyway, so with um, Wrecking Ball Soul Gem, it allows you to eat smaller enemies. So if you're in a place with lots of small enemies like Chompies or Munchers or even uh, the uh, Spiders, then uh, Wrecking Ball can eat them up. I'll try and show you that. Uh, well, it depends which level I choose Wrecking Ball for. Uh, history of Flight. Uh, sorry, no, I'm shock acting up. So yeah, Wrecking Ball isn't fully upgraded, unlike Hex. So, I'm probably going to use Hex for the next episode. So Hex is going to get my life seeds for me. And, um, I can't remember what comes after that. No. Stump Smash is getting the life seeds. Um, Hex is getting the uh, eternal life source for me. Ooh, no chest. And then uh, Wrecking Ball's going to get me whatever comes after that. I think it's, um... I think it might be heading towards the eternal tech source. But before you do that, you need to get the, um... The... Green Goop and the... Golden Gear. So I think Wrecking Ball is going to get my uh, Golden Gear for me. I'm sorry I have to send uh, Wrecking Ball into battle like that. It's quite harsh for a cute, cute um, Skyland like this. I don't actually know what he is, but he's definitely cute. The only problem with this hat is um, if I take his hat off quickly. Then you can see that at the top of his head he's got those weird things sticking out. So when you put him in a hat, um, those things are sticking out of his hat. What does he look like in top hat? Smart. Yeah, I couldn't quite decide what hat to give him. So I'm just going to take a bit of time to uh, give him a hat. Well. I haven't got all of those, so I guess I'll stick with the top half now. Looking very smart. No. Sorry, honey. I almost forgot to change back to Stump Smash because this uh, level is just for him. Oh, sorry. This is the part where it shows you uh, the new monster. So it's basically a mix of two. It's the, uh, the Life Spell Punk and uh, a weird troll. Becomes Blitzaboo. So together... Uh, the, he gets quite a bit of health and he gets, um, he's quite strong. So I'll try and attack him with my acorns. Yeah, every time there's a cutscene or, um, something like that where it shows you a new monster, then it makes you, uh, keep the Skylander that you're currently using. Well, I want to give treasure to Wrecking Ball. I'm going to have to change it. Sorry, you're probably going to get bored and I'm probably going to waste a bit of time trying to change Skylanders. No, it didn't work. 
Anyway, so um, that move that you just saw, Wrecking Ball's uh, Force Field, um, I guess it's okay, but uh, before you upgrade it, it goes in random directions. Then when you uh, upgrade it, then you get to control where it goes. I think when any of the uh, enemies are low on health, you get to eat them. So the dry spearman, this one is low on health. I can use my very long and spiky tongue to uh, try and eat them up. First, let's uh, belch the bird. Yeah, it'll be good if um, wrecking balls. Oh, there. I had a dry spearman and I kicked the container again. It'll be good if uh, wrecking balls force field is. Um, Infinite. It would be good if there's an upgrade for that, but unfortunately there isn't. So uh, let's open this magic gate with the wrecking ball. See, so you can see those red things sticking out of this hat. I don't think they're too good. Ooh, there's Gilgrunt. Yep, yeah, this is Gilgrunt. I can tell him by the picture. Anki Cannon, which uh, I no, which we've already got for Gilgram. I'm sorry about that. I moved the camera. There. I'm gonna have to stick with that for, a, for the rest of the clip or the rest of the episode. I'm really sorry, I accidentally moved the camera. Right. So um, in here we uh, get a new hat, and I think maybe. Some more treasure. Let's get the hot dog first. Treasure for Wrecking Ball. He's got three upgrades left. I don't know why, but it kind of reminds me of a caterpillar. Come on, eat the hornet. Every XP counts for Wrecking Ball. It's just like, um,. It's not the way that he, I don't know if it's the way that he walks, or the way, um, or his shape, like, when you look like that way. It kind of reminds me of the caterpillar. Eat the witch. She's a witch. Eat her. Eat the what? Hornet. Heart. Right, I've got to remember that I need to change back to, um, Stump smash after the end of this episode. So we got uh, Wrecking Ball, the Moose Hat, or any of the Skylanders, the Moose Hats. Oh, I gotta stop kicking that. Yay, Wrecking Ball's level 7. <clears throat> now I can see where, why he has to burp so much. Either that, or he really likes fizzy drinks. Do they sell any fizzy drinks on Skylanders? You can kind of hear him burp, like, after he's eating those enemies. Well, I don't need watermelon. Tastes like chicken. Hmm. Right, so now we made it back out. Gotta switch back to Stump Smash. Although he's not he's not the most powerful at this part. So this is basically uh, the other side of the bridge here. If you didn't open the uh, magic gate you could have gone over the bridge. Mega acorn. Let's make some acorn soup. Oh, what's a lovely looking tree? I saw a video where someone was playing a stump smash, and um, a few times they were talking about the um, the kind of I don't know what it is, but like when stump smash. Um, hits the ground like it makes those cracks 
like whatever kind of surface you want. Is that the same size as the Mega Acorn? No, that's bigger. I think that does more damage though. Right, so we've got to pull the lever to get across the bridge. No, don't smash them, I don't need them. Yeah, that's probably going to fall. It would be good if I managed to roll it over the bridge and I could uh, use it later, but no. <clears throat> right, so we've got another lever, which is over there. I really don't want to use up my health yet, or well, that piece of cake. Bing. That looks a little too big for a uh, stump smash to get through, but he still made it through. Ah, uh, took down those hornets in one go. Right, I think there's a treasure chest over there. No, there's a, definitely a treasure chest over there though. Ah, live spell punk. I don't actually know which uh, spell punk is my worst, like the one that I like the least. Because they've all got like their own uh, different abilities and their own different kinds of magic. Wrecking ball. Oh, look at his big, cute green eyes. I think uh, the guys who created this game could have worked a little bit more on the hats. Because from time to time you can see uh, their heads on their hats. Like the different Skylanders. <clears throat> can you, I don't know, I'm not sure if you can see that. Right, let's take down these dry spearmen who are now trees. <laughs> this is like, um, what's it called? You know in uh, Spain where they do, uh, they get, have the balls and they've got to try and make it bang into stuff, or they have the red cloak and they, the balls run after them. It's like that, ball fighting I think. Toro, Toro, what was that? Something just happened and I don't know what it was. Anyway, uh... So yeah. Let's get the, that lined up. It almost looks like a star. There we go. Connected them up and the live seed should be just up there. Maybe I should give Stump Smash Bunnies as well, because he's not that fast. Right, there's two of those um, big troll things with uh, life spell punks. So that means I'm going to have to bullfight two bulls. Or two trolls. I think they're trolls. Don't actually know what they are. Not that failed. Toro, Toro, woo! Oh, that was close, right there. That thing hit me and I released my spike, or my thorns, and it hits that slight spell pump as well. Wrecking ball! Raja! There we go. <clears throat> Sorry, it's much more difficult when you've only got one uh, Skyland left to uh, upgrade and you need to keep switching or otherwise you can't use the money. 
No, I accidentally um did that. I'm very sorry, I accidentally skipped that cutscene. That's the first time I've done that. Anyway, so let's see what the life seeds can do. Hmm, by the things nothing at the moment. Ah. Arbo agrees with Hugo. Oh. So the seeds turn into trees. Hmm, trees can talk. Right, um, we're gonna use it. Um, let's use a trigger happy. He should be able to get rid of the um, sheep. Away, sheep. Evil. Apple. Away. No. Hmm. After I do this level, and then I send um, Wrecking Ball to join the army, then I'll um, probably switch back to uh, Trigger Happy and to uh, carry on with the uh, walkthrough. That'll be quite good because we're going, we'll be going back into the army then, and um, I'll be using Trigger Happy. But keep away, you evil sheep! These sheep really are evil. No. I suppose if I charge up the Golden Yamato Blast, I might be able to burn them and then take them down. But, um, the Golden Yamato Blast will take a while to, um, charge up. Let's try it though. Next step I see. That worked. No. Evil sheep. Yay, we're farmers. Start up an orchard. There, have, have that apple. No, let's not go quickly, let's go slowly. Yes, we shall go slowly. Slow and steady with the race. <clears throat> to be honest, I think uh, the seeds uh, should talk to uh, Stomp's Mush as well, because he's a tree. So let's go uh, get some more upgrades for Wrecking Ball. Yay, upgrade him. Right, so you've got force field blast. Create a force field explosion. It's larger and does even more damage. Or a powerful burp attack. Hmm. Let's do it from this way on. So now we can do a force field attack whilst in the force field. What was I supposed to be doing? I mean, what was that supposed to do? Oh, press B. So basically, um, earlier you uh, had to wait for Wrecking Ball to come out of the um, force field, but now if you press B, you uh, come out and create an explosion. Anyway, I think I might have enough for the next upgrade. Let's see. Come on. Yay, I can get the Swath of Terror. Now the 
Force field is larger and does even more damage. Hooray! Alright, so thanks for watching. Uh, don't forget to subscribe and stay tuned for more videos coming soon. Thank you, bye!